raise your hand if you are a fan of the CC libraries. They're hella useful. I know I've talked about the CC libraries and saving things there in previous videos, but I don't think I've stressed just how useful and efficient they can be. They save you so much time, like when you're looking for that sketch that you did a couple of weeks ago, or you're looking for that zipper puller that you use all the time, but for some reason when you need it, you can never find it. The CC libraries put all those assets at your fingertips and they make it really easy for you to access them when you need them. You can save just about anything in your CC libraries and they're a great way to start building sketch and trim libraries that can be used across all Adobe programs. I find the most useful in Illustrator. Let's say I create a new brush and I save it into my brushes panel. I can use it throughout the Illustrator file, but what's frustrating is that if I start or open a new Illustrator document, that brush doesn't show up in the brushes panel of the new document. I have to either copy and paste it into the new document or save the original file that had the brush, then open the file as other library in the brush libraries. Either way, it's a bit of a pain in the butt, real extra for no reason. So a few years ago, Adobe introduced Creative Cloud libraries, which helped remedy this issue. CC libraries are like Dropbox for Adobe. You can drag and drop anything into the library. And when you go to another document or even another Adobe program, you can drag that asset onto the page to use it. So anything you create can be accessed across all documents and across all Adobe programs. In Illustrator, it allows you to use any of your brushes, stitches, trim, sketches, whatever, across any of your open documents without having to resave or reopen anything or do any extra copying and pasting. And to use something from the library, you just drag it onto the page. Be sure to hold the Alt or Option key as you drag it out of the library. And then once it's on the page, you'll see a placeholder icon which will allow you to drag to size your art. And once you resize it, you're left with original artwork. And if it was something like a brush or a symbol created in Illustrator, it'll automatically be added to the respective panels, which is super convenient. I mentioned holding the Alt Option key, and this is a pretty important point that you don't wanna miss. Just dragging your art from the library and placing it on the page will keep it linked to the original document it was created in. And you'll notice an X across the artwork. And if this is something that was created in Illustrator, you won't be able to edit it. So make sure you hold down that key as you're dragging your artwork from the library onto the page. Now, if you want a starting point, Check out the link in the description to my student library. There's sketches, um, stitches, trims, fabric swatches, brushes, all kinds of great stuff. And we update it with new goodies every single month. But if not, I encourage you to just start saving all the great stuff you create because you never know when you're gonna need it again. Thanks for watching today's tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this if you found it helpful. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.